Welcome back to a half time report on CNBC TV 18. Well, Sriram Properties, as promised, is uh, on our radar right now. The company has reported their Q4 FY22 operational business update uh, to get a ground check on what's happening and whether the momentum continues into FY23. Murli Malayapan, the MD at Sriram Properties, joins us now uh, to talk about that. Mr. Malayapan, a pleasure speaking with you on the channel. Thanks a lot for joining us. Um, I just want to understand from you what the growth has been because in Q4, it's been about a 14% up move that you've seen in your sales volumes. Uh, can you tell us what uh, FY23 could look like in terms of growth? How are the demand trends right now? As you know that real estate, there has been a pretty good demand for the last H2 particularly. And FY23, I expect a tremendous uh, growth further. We expect to grow for the next three years at least 25% year on year minimum. That's the trend today. And FI23 immediately looking pretty good. So we also have got good line of projects now for FI23. So I uh, hold a very strong view uh, because of the demand has been pretty good. In the consolidated market where branded players like us can uh, enhance our capacity, enhance uh, our uh, volume much, much uh, stronger and uh, uh, better. So I hold a very strong view. Growth in FY23. 25% growth in FY23 and over the next few years as well. Mr. Malayapan, you said in your release that you know sales would have been better had you not uh, taken some price hikes. Can you tell us what's the kind of price hike that you've taken, uh, what is anticipated going ahead as well, and uh, how are raw material uh, uh, you know trends panning out? Uh, price increase, particularly on H2, we have been able to increase the price. Uh, we saw close to about 7% price increase across all our projects. And I expect for FA23 price to go up at least by 10%. So that's the focus. Given the cost of construction increase, I, I mean, I expect FA23 cost of construction also will go up, uh, uh, I mean, uh, substantially. That's a matter of concern. We are all uh, worrying about that at this point of time. Hence, there has to be a price increase. Price increase happens on two things. One is there is a strong demand in the market. Because of that, I expect a good price increase, at least about 8 to 10%. Now, we need to provide for the cost increase also. So, but in all, I expect FA23 should witness at least 10% price increase. Okay, so at least a 10% price increase is what you're anticipating going into FI23. Uh, can you just list down the project launches that we could probably see in the first half of FI23? Where exactly would it be and what is the demand that you're anticipating? Uh, if you look at the FA22, uh, we had about 12 projects launched. In uh, Q4 alone, we had four projects launched. FA23, we have got a very strong pipeline lineup now. The uh, opening stock is itself over, over about 3, 3 and million square foot per day for FA23, which are projects are launched. Mm -hmm. The next phases will be launched. So we have got a very strong pipeline, close to about another uh, nine projects, uh, which are likely to be launched during this uh, financial year. And H1. Uh, we'll have at least about six projects launched, so that's lined up now. So I expect a good response for the launches also now. So you were telling my colleague that there's a 10% price increase that you should witness perhaps in FY23. Um, will it be easily absorbed by uh, the market? Yeah, uh, there is a very strong demand. Again, demand has been pretty good. The consolidation which has uh, I mean, happened in the industry which helps only few developers are able to sell today. And also, I mean, the customers uh, trust from the customers. So uh, hence, the large developers like us, I see a clear visibility of uh, price increase getting absorbed by the customers. Well, it'll be interesting to see because, you know, the Sriram Group is also into financing and going ahead. We understand that interest rates will go up. So how the demand will pan out with you increasing prices is something that we'll uh, uh, watch. But, you know, you also had a debt of over 300 crores. You intended to be debt-free by next year. Can you give us an updated number and by when will you get debt-free? Uh, FI24, uh, uh, we hope to become debt-free from the, all the current projects. That's the focus we are hoping now. And FI23 is going to be a very strong year. A lot of cash flows are expected. So we expect to uh, reduce the debt considerably during FI23. Currently, it's about 0.3 uh, net debt. So we expect that to come down uh, substantially during this uh, FA23. What's the absolute okay. number you said? Uh, absolute number is about, about 400 crores. It could come down substantially during the FA23. 
Okay, mm. all right. You expect your debt to come down substantially in FY23. Are you looking to probably expand into other segments or you have your hands full with your residential projects because the likes of Prestige is getting into warehousing, uh, maybe even more into commercial properties and uh, some companies are looking at even data centers. Any kind of uh, diversification on the, on the cards? Yeah, it's on the cards. We'll come back soon. <laughs> can you just give us a sense in terms of what we can probably expect and by when? Uh, we're using development. Uh, you know, we have got a large project in Calcutta. Mm. Uh, it's a large township. Part of which we are looking at uh, developing warehousing. In about 80 acres of land, we are looking at warehousing. Uh, we'll come back with announcement uh, soon, uh, maybe uh, tomorrow. You said Calcutta, is okay. it? Okay. Yeah. So that moves you away from your traditional south markets as well. Are you looking at geographically diversifying too? No, Calcutta, we have a large presence. We have a large township coming up in Calcutta. Okay. Uh, I mean, about 5 million square feet is under construction today. And we have a large parcel of land which is phenomenally doing well. So, part of the land parcel development, we are looking at uh, warehousing development uh, in about 80 acres of land. So, we'll come back to you with more details uh, once it's formally approved. Okay, we await those details. Uh, Mr. Murli, thanks a lot for joining us and all the best. That's Shriram Property saying that, uh, yes, there is a price hike because of higher input costs, but that will be passed on very easily uh, because demand is so very strong uh, in this real estate space. The stock is up almost about 4 odd percent right now.